this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Fabiano Caruana and the legendary Victor Korchnoi. This is the game from Olympiad that was played in Dresden in 2008. And where is Dresden? Dresden is a city in Germany. In this game Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with e4. Victor Korchnoi played e5 knight to f3, knight to c6, and Caruana played bishop to b5, Rui Lopez or Spanish opening, a6 attacking the bishop, bishop to a4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, and Caruana played d3, the most popular move, or if you wish, the most played move in this position is castling, Caruana played modest d3, b5 attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, Caruana castled kingside, d6, a4, bishop to g4 pinning the knight, c3 making the room for the bishop on c2 preparing d4, knight to a5 attacking the bishop, bishop to c2, b4, d4, c5, as you can see Kochnoi is not in a hurry to castle. C takes on b4, c takes on b4, knight from b to d2, knight to d7, h3 attacking the bishop, bishop to h5, knight to b3, rook to c8, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to b3, black to move. Castling looks like a sensible move. Kochnoi didn't want to castle. He played knight to f6, rook to e1. Again, castling looks like a sensible move. Kochnoi captured the knight on f3 with bishop bringing white queen in the game. He takes on d4, bishop to f4. And now Kochnoi played knight. To d7, asking Caruana to play queen to g4. And Caruana did. Queen to g4. Caruana accepted the challenge. g5. Well, what is the purpose of this move? Kochner was hoping for this continuation. Bishop to g3 and then h5. Let's have a look. This is what he was hoping for bishop to g3, then h5, and if queen to f3, rook to h7. He planned some attack on the king side. However, in this very critical position, Caruana found the best move. It is the move that Korchnoi overlooked. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Caruana played e5. It looks like that Kochnoi overlooked this move. Now black has a problem. He can't take the bishop actually. He played king to d8. What's wrong with pawn takes bishop? If pawn takes bishop, then e takes on d6, and after king to d8, d takes on e7 check, and after king to c7, rook from a to c1 is winning for white. Hmm, okay, so we have king to d8, e takes on d6, bishop to f6, bishop to g3 now, h5 attacking the queen, queen to e4, bishop to e5, bishop takes bishop, Rook to e8, pinning the bishop, queen to f5. Knight takes bishop on e5. It is white to move. White play the move and black designed. What is the move? Caruana played d7 and Korchnoi resigned. 
one possible or if you wish sensible continuation is rook to c5 then d takes on e8 promoting pawn to queen a check king takes queen bishop takes on f7 check king to d8 then rook from a to c1 and we can stop here interesting game what do you think of this game What do you think of Okorchna's play? What do you think of Caruana's play? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.